What's up Team Hawk House? It's time to review another ski resort. And this time we're going to the West Coast, the West Coast, this side of the United States. And we're gonna be reviewing North Star, California, Tahoe, let's go. North Star is one of my favorite ski resorts I've gotten on a vacation to North Star for the last eight years in a row. I absolutely love going to the Tahoe area, Ryan Lake Kirkwood, Heavenly North Star. We can definitely make reviews on these resorts because we've been there, we've done it, we've done the trip. This is where I was going snowboarding before I started a YouTube channel on a vacation. So it's going down, we're covering North Star. Before we jump into North Star, I want to cover one point everyone keeps telling me in these re resort reviews. Cover the snow, talk about the snow, 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 snow. That's not possible in a way because it could be an off year, it could be a great year, it could be a snow trip on it. You know what I'm saying? We're covering like things that are gonna be consistent. When you show up, you know you're getting this. Snow, it could be the best year for snowfall of all time. It could be the worst year, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to cover snow conditions because if I showed up, to the, the mountain to review it. And then it was a powder day, obviously you'd be like, it's the best snow ever. And then you show up and it's not. And then you'd be like, dude, come on. So we're gonna cover things that are, that are pretty consistent and hopefully will help you have a, an incredible vacation. So make sure you smash the like button because it helps the algorithm so more people can see this, more people can have a better vacation. So smash the like and then subscribe if you're new to the channel because I'm gonna help you decide what's the best place to go on a ski vacation. So if you're new here, we rate 10 topics, zero to 10. Zero being not applicable, they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, 10 is best in the world, period. And then at the end, the resort gets an overall score from the 10 results. So let's jump into it. First one is prices. <laughs> Just like most veiled, iconic, big ski resorts, the prices are pretty similar. I think a day pass was about $120, and that fluctuates depending on the day you're going. Weekends are more expensive than the weekday, and then of course, the Epic Pass, like I lived in Colorado, I'd get the Epic Local, I could still go there, you get the Epic Pass, it's on the Epic Pass. It's a very average price for a resort of that size and in the location of where it's at, so it got a five when it comes to prices, it's it's about the average price. Ease of access, how easy is it to get to North Star? And it's honestly super easy, especially if you're traveling there to go skiing, you just fly into Reno, Nevada, and it's like a 40 minute drive up there. You can take a bus, and that's what I did when I first was doing the trips, I would like take a bus up there, which was super easy. But then I started doing rental cars and getting a rental car and driving up there, the drive is super easy. Getting up to the area is really nice and they have plenty of parking at the ski resort. You just walk into the village after you park and then you just get onto a chairlift and like you're riding basically from the, the get-go if you wanted to. So for ease of access, it got a seven. It's super easy to get there and I think any of you guys doing a trip would have, find no issues getting to the ski resort. But you gotta stay somewhere. How's the lodging? And from what I can see and what I've experienced, lodging's pretty incredible, pretty easy. Tons around Tahoe. Like, the nice thing is you don't have to stay at North Star. I usually stay in the heavenly side of Tahoe because there's like a lot to do, a lot of nightlife, a lot of restaurants, but we just, it's like an hour drive to get to North Star from there. But North Star's village has housing or lodging if you want to stay on the ski resort. And then there's towns all around that do Airbnbs. Lodging is not going to be an issue for you. So for the score for lodging, it's a seven. You're definitely gonna be able to find a place to stay on your vacation heading out there. Now let's talk about the chairlifts. How are the chairlifts? Are they new? Are there a bunch of them? Like, can you get to where you wanna get to on the mountain? And yes, there's plenty of chairlifts there. Sometimes they're not even running the chairlift because like there's two chairlifts to get to the same spot. So like, you don't need it. You don't need this chairlift, they're not even running it. A lot of them are like high speeds. They got some quads and sixes. Like they got a specific park chairlift, which is, you know, I love that. So. Definitely got the chairlifts. They got the gondolas for people that want gondolas. They got a chairlift for the bunny hill. So as for chairlifts or the score for chairlifts, they got an eight on chairlifts, which is really good. It's a high score. So good job North Star on having a lot of chairlifts. But the chairlifts don't matter if they're not accessing some sick terrain. And honestly, that's where North Star is kind of lacking. They got fun tree runs for sure. And the trees are, I mean, California trees are so different. So they got nice tree runs. But when it comes to like extreme terrain, like 
gnarly mountain riding, like that's where it's kind of lacking. They got some steep sections, you can ride some bumps, but like there's no bowls, there's no like high up Colorado type terrain, if that makes sense. It's very like groomer friendly, very beginner friendly. If you're a family that, that likes to ride a lot of blues and greens, like that's an awesome place for you. And then like, if you're like getting into the trees or you're a solid tree rider, you'll have a good time, but it's not the most epic terrain out there. So it got an average score of five when it comes to their terrain. And I think most people would agree with me. It's like, it's not the sickest, like you, you wanna go to Kirkwood if you're going, if it's a pave. Next is employees. Now, obviously employees can be hit or miss. Like I had a horrible experience at Keystone that killed the employee score. That's not all the employees there. But something I've noticed over the years of going to North Star and snowboarding is there's a pretty consistent trend of employees that work as like lifties or ticket scanners or work on the mountain that actually don't ski and snowboard. And I truly think that will hinder your vacation because if you're on a ski resort you, and you wanna know what runs to do, where to go, how to get to this place, if the person doesn't even know the mountain, how can they give you that quality guest service that it, like what you're wanting to hear? So sadly, employees that don't actually ski and snowboard hurt the employee score. They get a below average score of four. And the reason for that is like, once again, like if I, I need to know how to get from point A to point B, I should be able to ask any employee on the mountain and hopefully get that answer. Now views and scenery, like we're by Lake Tahoe, it should have the sickest view ever, but sadly, North Star is one of the Lake Tahoe ski resorts that you can't really see the lake at. Uh, you get this nice view of, I think, Truckee, I don't know exactly where it goes, but there's some good views there, but it's not like Heavenly's views. Like it's okay, they got okay views. You're on a mountain, you're gonna see some sick views, but they're average. And that's why they got a score of five, an average score, because the views are nice, they're great for being on a mountain, but they're not the sickest views out there. Kind of went out of order, so let's go back to the parks. North Star, how is North Star's park? And that's the reason why I ride North Star in that area, it builds one of the best train parks in the Tahoe area. It's an incredible park. They build nice jumps, all sizes, small, medium, large, and they have a pro line section with like usually one massive jump, which is super fun. And the park flows really well. It's kind of steep. It's a pretty, like sections are of the park are like, oh my goodness, like this is super steep. But the best part about the park is it runs out to a 16 foot, I think it's like 16 foot half pipe and it's incredible. And it's like, North Star is usually, like California is usually sunny. So it's like the walls get slushy and I like a slushy pipe because I'm a or pipe rider. So it's a good time. I've always had a good time in the park. I usually feel like I progress there or I can land some of my harder tricks there. But the park only got a six on the scale because honestly, in the last couple of years after Vail has purchased it, and this is a Vail mountain. So if you have a, like an epic pass, you can go there. but after Vale purchased the mountain, the park has slowly gotten not as sick as it used to be. I mean, the videos I grew up watching of North Star and the first year I went to North Star, I was like, what? And then with Vale's influence, it has dumbed down and not got as sick. And I think probably a lot of the locals would agree with that. The park's not what it used to be. And that's why I got a score of six when it comes to the park, because it, it used to be a lot higher. Six is still, it's above average. It's a great park, but not what it used to be. And then when you're riding and get hungry, let's talk about the food. They have plenty of options for food, plenty of lodges on the mountain with like that normal lodge food, but also some like epic food that's not like normal that you would find at Breck or Keystone. It's like different, but then in the village, they have this like Hispanic restaurant that's been there for years that's super incredible and, and lots of options. And a cool thing that North Star does, kind of like Beaver Creek, is they give away s'mores every day at three, I think, uh, which is really cool that they do that. So it definitely got a, an above average score when it comes to the food because there's so many food options around there. So I got a number seven on the food. Also, there's a Taco Bell on the drive. So you can get Taco Bell like right next to North Star. And the last one, would I go back? I mean, I've gone back the last eight years in a row. It's a super fun resort to go to. However, this season, my goal is not to go back to North Star. I wanna ride the other resorts around Tahoe so then we can make these resort videos and find out what is the best resort to go to in that area. But I would go back and I have gone back and it is a good time and I've had great powder days there. I've had great park days. I've also had kind of average days there. But at the end of the day, I've gone back. I've continued to go back. So I'm gonna give it a score for each year I've gone and give it, give it an eight on would I go back. I think if you're a family, and you show up on a vacation to North Star, you would definitely have a, an incredible time and wanna go back. And so when we total all these scores together, on the grand scheme of things, Keystone got a 69, 
Big Snow got a 47, something like that. And if you want to watch those videos, one's linked right here. I'll link another one in a second. North Star got a 62. That's not a bad score. 50 would be an average score. So it's gotten an above average score. North Star is an incredible resort. I highly recommend it. Hope this score, I hope these videos help you. And I hope you're enjoying these videos. Once again, smash like if you are. And if you want to see the two other ones I made, there's the other video right there. Check out the playlist. I'm going to be reviewing every resort in the United States. This is a list of every resort in the United States, which eventually we'll get there. There's like over 400 ski resorts in the US, which is crazy. And if you want this map, it's linked in the description as well as any of my snowboard gear. That's all linked in the description. But give me feedback, guys. These are This is a new series. I want to know what do you think of these videos? The first two have gotten a ton of love and I appreciate it so much, guys. I'm really excited that you guys are interested in this, but also who doesn't want to go on a ski or snowboard vacation? We want to make sure we go to the right place for you because there's different spots for different people. Trust me, the Midwest is awesome for certain people and I can't wait to review those resorts. Also Colorado just opened up. Wolf Creek was the first resort to open in Colorado. We went to it. So check out the video there. See how opening day Colorado, the season has started is with that video right there. And then if you want to get super hyped for the season guys, snack some Evolution merch, hoodies, stickers, long sleeves, t-shirts. I mean, all of it's in the description guys. Check out the merch, support the dream so I can keep traveling to all these other resorts and make these videos and other videos for you guys. And with that Team Outcast, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, Cliff. I wish I had a camera or snowboard.